His opponent is sponsored by Agus Credit Union, Phil Bricks, Tanning Hut, and Jim and Jensen Construction. He comes to the cage after an impressive victory at Cold War, standing five foot eight inches tall, weighing in at 161 pounds, with an awesome record of 17 wins and seen defeat only twice. From Clinton, Iowa, Eric Wisely. There he is, Eric Lilly Wisely. Five foot eight, 160 pounds. 23 years old. 20 and two is the record he gave me. That's a lot of professional fights as a 23 year old as well. Fights out of Clinton, Iowa. The Phil Bricks is his school. Wayne Franson, Carl Kelly, and Kelly Carter, his principal trainer and cornerman. Boxing on his feet, Jiu Jitsu on the ground. Strategy for the fight is to outwork his opponent and catch him if he makes a mistake. So he's going to be somewhat of a counterfighter, perhaps, and look for the first opportunity and capitalize on it, Justin. I think the wrestling advantage goes to Eric Wisely. I think the stand-up advantage definitely favors heavily into Luke's favor. Luke Gwaltney out of St. Louis, Missouri, 21 years old, six foot one. There's the big pattern we've had all night long tonight here on New Era. Lightweights, welterweights, middleweights, one towering over the other. Six foot one, Luke Gwaltney. Towering over Eric Wisely, you see Eric right there. I love to watch Eric fight, he's very dynamic, very skilled fighter. 20 and two, you don't get a 20 and two record. I don't care who you're fighting, you're a skilled fighter. And he's fought lots of tough opponents. He's scrappy, man, he just doesn't, doesn't stop. That's one of his uh, biggest advantages is that he's constantly pressuring his opponents. Good sportsmanship there. Gwaltney in the black and blue trunks. Gwaltney comes out with his hands down. He's got to be careful about that. Wisely in the camos. Yeah, those hands are low. He's got to keep that back hand up, cover that chin. He's got those hands way low. He's got to keep those hands up. Especially for Eric Wisely. Wisely loves the right hook. Nice leg kick by He's Wisely. He's a boxer. Superman punch misses by Wisely. Those hands are low. Yeah, he's got to keep those hands up. I mean, Wisely's got a 20 and two record as a boxer. <laughs> See that left hook? He sees already Wisely sees those oh, hands. He throws those hands with wicked intentions, Jay. That overhand left just missing. And once he finds his range with those punches, it could be lights out for Gwaltney. Both fighters just trying to feel each other out here. The opening round. Good leg kicks by Wisely. He's been timing those pretty good. I think eventually he's going to switch those kicks to a shot. Boy, Gwaltney's hands are down. Woo. Crazy. My goodness. Coming in like Ali. I know Ali can get away with it. Wisely's a leg kick thrown machine right now. <laughs> Boy, if I'm Gwaltney's corner, I'm screaming at him to get those hands up. Absolutely. He's just standing there taking shots so far. He's got to get on the offensive. Nice body hook there. Excellent right hand to the body by Gwaltney. Another leg kick by Wisely. Nice, oh. nice lunge kick straight <laughs> forward by Wisely. Boy, his, his stand-up's really improved quite a bit, Jay, since the last couple times we've seen him. A little bit low there, groin area for Wisely. He shakes it off. Halfway through the first round here, guys, and uh, both guys putting on a show. 
just really shocked at like how low Baltney's hands are right now. This is mainstream mixed martial arts action. I'm Jay Adams alongside Justin Brown here in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. You're watching a lightweight matchup between Lucas Gwaltney in the black and blue versus Eric Wisely in the camos. Both guys looking good. Wisely so far is uh, the aggressor, trying to set the tempo. Gwaltney really needs to take advantage of his reach advantage right now. Gwaltney at six foot one. Man, he can't be grabbing that leg like that, throwing a leg kick. See, Wisely keeps throwing those leg kicks, and Gwaltney just drops those hands. If he'll land, if he throws a head kick high, it could land clean, Jay, and it'd be the end of the night for him. Gwaltney told me that he has a heavy hand and a heavy heart. He's an exciting fighter, and he knows the fans will love the way he fights. Predicts that there will be a KO. Ooh. And his hand will be raised. Tough leg kick right there. See, Wisely is getting closer and closer with those punches there. He's really setting up and finding his range. And, you know, if I'm Gwaltney's corner, I would be screaming right now. He's coming in like he thinks he's Muhammad Ali. He's got to commit to his commit to his punches and kicks. First time going to the clinch here. Oh, back away. Nice head kick by Gwaltney. Very nice. Gwaltney trains out of St. Louis with Steve Berger MMA, who's a UFC vet. Jay Thode, Leroy Sanchez, St. Louis, Missouri. Nice left hand. Oh, nice exchange between the two. Gwaltney shook some cobwebs off. He got clipped at the end of that combination. Gwaltney needs to move forward, but the problem is when he throws that right hand, the left hand completely drops down to his waist. Maybe that's an adjustment the corner's going to make. Point that out to him in the second round. <laughs> Ten seconds to go in this first round. It's a good first round. Excellent first round. Good action on both sides. I'd give that first one to Wisely, based on aggressiveness and effectiveness of striking. And we're going to take a look at the trade here. Starts off the fake right hand, then a left hook, then a right hook, then a left hook. And to the right of your screen, you could just catch Lucas Gwaltney shaking his head. He wanted to make sure before he stepped back into the pocket that the cobwebs were clear. So he got clipped towards the end of that exchange. We are in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. It is the new era. New era. Mainstream mixed martial arts action.